So lots of people like to make word rocks for their kindness rocks that they hide around town. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on today is laying out uh, what you wanna say on your rock the first time, um, helping getting your letters to the right size and to really help you control some different uh, lettering techniques to really jazz up your word rocks. So right off the bat, I'm gonna leave a card up in the right hand, upper right hand corner. Um, that links back to the tutorial where we did the bottom base coat design on these rocks. It's kind of a watercolor look, but we just used our Posca pens and some washable markers and things like that. Um, if you're new to the channel, let me introduce myself. I am Susie. I am the hands behind the tutorials here on Rock Painting 101. Um, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Um, and also stick around to the end of this video because I am gonna go over a little bit um, on sealing these rocks. I was getting a lot of questions on how would I seal these rocks because we're using water on them, they don't want them to run. So I did try a few things and I'll let you know how that goes at the end of the video. So as I mentioned before, we're going to talk about how to seal these rocks. Now I'm going to show in this video how I am using um, something to help with a brush on style sealer. I'd like to disclose though, however, I think a spray on sealer is ideal for these kind of rocks. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in the end, but I want to talk about what you're going to be seeing in front of you here. 
I'm going to take hairspray and spritz the top of these rocks. Um, this is gonna help set the edges of the paint pens on top and even the edges of the um, base coat itself. Uh, this is kind of a trick if you've taken any art classes, like when people do uh, chalk pastels and things like that, you can just kind of spritz lightly with some hairspray. You want to let the hairspray dry all the way before you go on with your brush on sealer. Now I've got a DuraClear brush on sealer. Um, I'll leave a card above of different sealers I like to use. This is the only brush on that I personally have in my arsenal, not because I have anything against the rest. I just actually spray my rocks more often than not, so I don't need a lot of brush on options. So when you put on your brush on, I like to make my first layer fairly light and I almost use a dabbing motion with my brush to kind of place it down on my rock. Um, so you get kind of a nice thin layer on there and then ever so gently with your brush, you can kind of swipe left to right um, quickly to let that first layer kind of get on there. Now this is sealing Posca paint pens and I use some Micron um, pens with these as well. Once that first layer of um, sealant has dried, you can go on with the second layer a bit thicker um, and kind of build it up a little bit more. And this will give you a good um, protective coating to your rocks. Now, right here, I'm gonna show you, I had messed up my tea and I went back and added paint pen and I didn't let it dry very long and I didn't put any more of my hairspray on it. And you can see I picked up some of the paint. So just be patient with this um, if you are using the brush on sealer. As I mentioned before though, I highly suggest using a spray on sealer for these stones. Um, you can lay them out, give them a very light misting style coat first. It will kind of finish off the edges and kind of seal everything in well. Um, second coat, you can do a little bit thicker. And then the third, you can go quite a bit thicker um, and on, on the sides. When I say thicker, however, you should never see puddling or pooling of your sealer. It should never be dripping or oversaturating your rocks. It's best to let this build up. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really love the look of these stones, uh, these cute little rocks I, you can find on Etsy. I'll leave the link to that in the description below as well, uh, but they're perfect for hiding around town. These are sure to brighten so many people's days. I have a feeling these will be the ones that people pick up, stick in their pocket. They might not get rehidden all too often and that's okay. So make sure you're filling your rocks with messages of kindness and hope and inspiration to really help just make people happier. I mean, that's what this is all about. So um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll leave a couple of playlists here at the end of other things you can try, including the watercolor base coat as well. And we'll see you soon with another rock painting tutorial. Bye-bye.